It's always very difficult knowing how to explain what I do when people ask me. So I try and be a little bit creative. So I sat next to this lady on an aeroplane at Heathrow Airport and I said, hello. And she said, oh, hello. Then she said, what do you do? And I said, well, <laughs> I work for a global enterprise. <laughs> she said, do you? I said, yes, I do. I said, we've got outlets in nearly every country of the world. I said, we've got hospitals, hospices, homeless shelters, we do justice work, reconciliation work, we've got orphanages, we do marriage guidance counselling. I said, basically, we look after people from birth to death and we deal in the area of behavioural alteration. <laughs> she said, wow. She says, what's it called? I said, it's called the church. One of my sons came back from uh, school, Michael, and uh, I said to him, Michael, how did it go today? He says, well, usual, Dad. I said, oh, OK. I said, did you do anything interesting? He says, no. I said, oh, all right. He said, no, we did actually, Dad. We had to do a project on heroes. I said, did you? He says, yeah, we did. Dad, I chose you as my hero. I know, I felt the same. <laughs> was like overwhelmed that my son chose me but there was a lot of curiosity <laughs> I said Michael why did you choose me he said because I couldn't spell Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> he's the way so that traffic wardens can understand he's the truth so that politicians can understand He's the resurrection so that funeral directors can understand. He's the good shepherd so that farmers can understand. He's the door so that architects can understand. He's the alpha and the omega so that scientists can understand. He's the living water so that plumbers can understand. He's the word so that the actors can understand. Jesus is the one. Jesus is the one.